Artemis Fowl, the 12 year old genius of Ireland. Artemis's father went missing on a business trip to Russia when Artemis was 11. Expensive expeditions in search of his believed to be dead father drained the family's bank accounts. Artemis still believed in fairy tales, even though he was one of the most mature 12 year olds in the world. If anyone could find a fairy, it would be him. Artemis started hatching a plan to separate the fairy from its gold. Then he and his mountain of a bodyguard, Butler, sent a post out on the web asking for any information about a fairy's whereabouts. Then they tricked an alcohol ridden fairy into giving them a the fairy Bible, so that way they could capture one and hold them hostage for ransom. Captain Holly Short of the Underground Fairy Police was the fairy who was tranquilized and held hostage by none other than Artemis Fowl. Then, the commander of the underground police, Julius Reed, declares war and carries out a siege against the Fowl Manor. Artemis hadn't realized what he got himself into. For a regular human, this would have been an unfair match. The fairies had advanced technology and magic. But Artemis wasn't a regular human. Things started to go badly when the fairies sent in a bull troll, which is one of nature's big jokes. It is a giant creature with tusks dripping with poison and a brain only the size of a walnut. The bodyguard butler gets mortally injured and the only thing to save him is fairy magic. At that exact moment, the hostage Holly was loose in the house and butler's sister Juliet was mesmerized by Holly's magic. Will Artemis ever survive and get his gold? Will Holly make it back to her people? Read Artemis Fowl, book one, to find out. Bye.